it's a lot of times I feel like when, as an individual, you know, we're together, we're one, especially in a marriage, you become one, but you're still right. an individual. And sometimes we tend to have feelings or emotions that we just bottled up sometimes because maybe it has something to do with our partner that's affecting us and we don't know how to, you know, say it or communicate that or something that was done and we can't communicate it effectively. So it's like, to me, I feel like just having that openness and co- being able to communicate anything that you're going through, no matter what the, the situation is or how you think the outcome of the situation will be. Mm-hmm. Um, like, for example, if you feel like, oh, if I feel strongly about my husband or my wife, you know, doing something in particular, and I know if I approach them with this situation they're going to come at me or it's going to cause more of a confrontation. Right. Like it's like just trying to figure out how to maneuver in those situations and really communicate because what you start to do. And I feel like we also um, experience that is you start to build resentment yeah. a little bit. You start to build frustration and it could be something small that starts out and it ends up being huge because it's like you allowed for that frustration and that anger with something little to continue to build up and just compile all these emotions and everything. So I feel like just being open and communicating with your partner. I mean, this is who you decided to be with for a lifetime. Right. So it's like, that's your friend. That's not only your husband, wife, it's your friend. Mm -hmm. And you have to be open with your friend. You have to be honest with them. Like y'all going to have moments. Y'all going to have ups and downs. Y'all, if y'all together for a life, y'all together for life. That's many years, months, hours seconds Forever. together exactly so it's like you want to live a happy life so you you have to be able to communicate effectively with that person and i feel like that's the hardest thing as people for us to do whether it be in a relationship or even if it's with your co-workers or your children or whatever the case may be it's very hard to really communicate for a lot of individuals but i feel like especially in relationships it's vital that you work on your communication one of the points that i want to touch on that you talked about earlier was when you said that a lot of times you don't want to approach your partner because you don't want it to turn into a big argument Mm -hmm. right you don't want it to blow up or you don't want to hurt the person you know there's a lot of times where we had to deal with that in our relationship too where i felt like you know if i wasn't happy with something then i wouldn't go tell asha i would avoid that conversation because I didn't want to hurt her and I didn't want it to turn into a big argument. But you got to realize when you bottle that stuff up, that that hurt that you're going to bring to that person is way more than you just approaching them and telling them what you really feel on your heart. If it ends up in divorce because you never, you know, say anything, you just get fed up with the person. You never gave them an opportunity to change because you never told them that what they were doing was wrong. So you definitely want to try to nip your problems in the butt as fast as you can.